Peyton, I'm thinking that people are probably a little thankful for it being a bit cooler yeah. if they're going to be out there moving around in that 5K. Is my I guess. mean, I said it yesterday morning. I was watching Matt Wins last night, and he again reiterated the fact that it was a perfect evening to have the windows open. The breeze was in place. If people didn't go ahead and turn the AC on this week because things were stuffy, you know, mm -hmm. yesterday and even today, going to be great to kind of let the fresh air take on over. And we've got morning golden hour for you this morning as the sun is now peeking its way up over the horizon. But we do have a few concerns to chat with you about today, and that does go back to the water. And it's all again associated with our current wind direction. So yesterday morning on Go, I was telling you about a beach hazard statement. Again, this is back in place because our wind direction hasn't shifted and the intensity is likely to pick on up as we go through the day. That leads to a high risk for rip currents on all area beaches today. So if you have plans to maybe do a beach day, it's not going to be the best idea. And truthfully, you probably don't even want to be closer to the beach because those are the spots that are going to be a whole lot cooler today because you have to remember our water temperature is anywhere between the mid 50s to about 60 degrees. So the closer you get to the water and the breeze influences that direct spot when it comes to temperature. It's a lot closer to the water temperature than those folks further inland because the specific heat of water and land a little bit different. We go from the 50s into the 60s as we go through about mid morning. We will make it into the 70s today except those closer to the lake. So our high temperature right around 75 degrees. The breeze will continue and we will have gusts today that are back upwards of 20 miles per hour and likely even right around 30 miles per hour through the afternoon and evening yet again. I think come tomorrow the wind overall continues to lessen. So the concerns there start to drop when it comes to small craft advisories and then the high risk for rip currents. Things will start to improve as we go through the week, but we have about nothing to talk about through the Buckeye State. You may have noticed a little haze yesterday in the atmosphere. The sky looked a little milky. We actually got some wildfire smoke from eastern Canada to move on through, and that allowed the sunrise, and even this morning too, I have some pictures coming into me that it looks a little pinker, redder in general, and that's exactly what wildfire smoke in the atmosphere can do. Maybe you checked out the full moon last night. It looked a little orange, maybe a little pink. I have a photo coming up in the next half hour that I'm going to share with you. In your National Zymert hour by hour forecast, this is 10 this morning, maybe a passing cloud or two, but I don't really think that we have a chance to keep the clouds around for the majority of today. I mentioned Lakeshore cooler further inland, a tad bit warmer. And then as we go through time, I do want to point something out because tomorrow morning I've stopped the clock. This is 6 a.m. Widespread tomorrow morning, we are likely to drop into the 40s. So another cool start, in fact, cooler than what we're starting today as. Far inland spots, I wouldn't be too shocked if a few upper 30s start to pop on up as well. We have more morning clouds than we'll have afternoon sunshine, and then we do have a sliver of a chance for a spotty shower overnight Monday into Tuesday. It's not going to be for everyone. Our next big rain chance is outside of this extended forecast in your Union Home Mortgage version here that I'm showing you. It actually happens to be Sunday. Our temperatures are going to dip unseasonably cool through the middle of the week. We're back near 80 degrees for Saturday, and Stephanie, I mentioned that big rain chance that's coming. Big, we'll see if it actually, you know, it speaks itself into existence. That will be on Sunday. We are still in that time of year, Peyton, where we, we do sure. get a little bit of that up and down. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, this morning.